How you doing folks? Massey Ferguson today. We're here in Whelan's in Kilrush. Whelan's are massive dealers. They have Wellermans, loading shovels. They have Fint, they have Masseys, and they have a savage line of second-hand tractors above. So we're going to turn the camera and we're going to give a look at what they have. What else do they have? They have Harvey sprayers, they have major vacuum tanks. We're going to go walk around. They have some serious gear inside in the shed. Uh, Kubota, Honda lawnmowers. Um, robotic lawnmowers the whole lot is there for you wheelings and kill rush and of course there are they also have a couple more agencies so hopefully if we get this right and if you give this video enough likes uh joe wheeler might ask us to come up and do the other garages so fingers crossed there's also a museum we're going to get that in the next video we're going to do here today uh, in kill rush we're going to give a look at the masses and the sprayers and there's a good bit of second hand balers and other stuff above in the shade above so if you can, give this video a thumbs up. If everyone views it, can give it a thumbs up. It's just a bit of an experiment to see what YouTube will do. Um, we're very close to 5,000 subscribers. And I suppose for the first time in the last bones of three years, um, we have a plan. Now, I can't tell you what the plan is yet, but we have a plan to... But it's, we're not there yet. So when we're at 10,000, there thereabouts, um, we're going to unveil the plan. So when you give the video a thumbs up, YouTube will bump it on to the next fella. So lads, please, I'm looking for a thousand, a minimum of a thousand thumbs up if you can on um, on this video. So look, turn the camera. Um, there's a couple of Wellermans in front of me. We look at them after. And there's a brand new line of Massey Ferguson tractors here. There's no more Masseys above in the shed. There's, there's everything. So bear with me here for a while and we will get to something that you want. There's a lovely Landini up the yard. There's a... Um, there's a 2850 John Deere up the yard. There's a couple of more things. There's a Fint up the yard. We're going to be here a while, lads. So, we're going to turn the video, uh, turn the camera, and um, let's do this. All right, guys, we're here. They're up in a bit of a hump in front of us. What she, she's a, a 7S165 Massey. Look at this, lads. Look at this. This is ready to go out the gate with loaders and all on for you. Um, what she, she's another 7S. 165, she's a, a 5S145. Look at this, lads, they are here for you. What do we have here? We have a 5S115. These are just fantastic tractors. These are just Massey is Massey is Massey, of course. Massey is a Ferguson, Harry Ferguson. Harry Ferguson, of course, an Irish man. Um, Massey, a Canadian company, Massey Harris, Harry Ferguson, and Massey Harris came together, of course, to come up with the company Massey Harris Ferguson. And after a couple of years, they dropped the Harris and they just came up with Massey Ferguson. The grey is the is the Ferguson and the red is the Harris. So Massey Harris Ferguson, Massey Ferguson. Here, guys, we have a 06 CE Clare registered um, Zetter 8641 four-wheel drive. Good tyres all round, and I'm going to comment on the steps, all right? I got a bit of a hammering there, the steps in the tractor are good, um, the tractor must be great. But, I look at the steps, what I mean by the steps is they didn't get belted, bruised, they weren't 500 journeys in and out of the tractor. Like, don't be giving out to me about things I say or whatever, Everyone, every, you know what they say about opinions, so all right guys, there's a lovely Ross Moore loader on it, an FL60 loader, an ideal tractor there now for anyone, second hand tractor for feeding bales. We also have an 880 80 Landini, these are a uh, power flow, these are lovely tractors, saying cab is the kind of 699 Masseys and all that. Cab rotted in these, but this is in very, very good condition. Um, tires are maybe 50%. I drove one of these, tax to the third 24. I drove one of these, similar enough to this, a Landini 10,000 uh, drawn silage going back in the day and the cab, the cab was dozed off of it, but it was a great tractor. She had a column change uh, gearbox in it. Um, she's 94 OY, it's not 94 KY, but she's 94 OY. Next to that, we have a, a 1992 Donegal registered, is she a 350 Ferguson? Now she's a slightly different colour. I'm just wondering, did she fade? Did she fade away throughout the, her her career, or was she that kind of orange always, or was there somebody tell me? 
Somebody tell me, nice little massy there, 350, nice roomy, spacious cab. These are a lovely tractor as well, holding their money. They are just, um, they are what they are, the third 22 of the Texas Openers. There's a, a sprayer behind it, and she is second hand sprayer. She is sodden, I don't know the make, but there's actually sprayers on it. I'm not too sure the make, but um, she's there for you. Next to that we have an S. 5712 Massey Ferguson again a Dyna 4 she's a 191 Limerick registered tractor again an absolutely spotless tractor lovely loader and all in it okay a quickie loader she's a nice tractor she's I don't like that don't like that but sure look that's the way it is you know they're talking of doubling the amount of Ed Blue that will be going into Yokes um Kind of from next year, the year after onwards, doubling the amount of Ed Blue that they're going to be putting into. What's the line of tractors there, lads? Come on, that's that's a thumbnail there, lads. If we ever had one, um, we have a class Arius Arius 567 ATX, lovely tractor again. She's kind of just got a little gear stick. She got like the one I was driving. Oh no, she's different. She is the kind of more of a bigger gear stick. I don't even know it. What year she is? She's 08 Galway registered. Nice tractor. Brand new tyres in the front of the tyres in the back are maybe 50%. Don't be giving out to me about tyres. Tyres are what they're tyres. You know what they say about opinions. Um, a T7 200. Um, nice tractor again. Good tyre. Brand new, brand new tyres all around. Front linkage and all this. She's 12 Galway registered. These are a fantastic tractor. These are a lovely tractor on the road. I presume she's 50k. I'm not too sure. Maybe you can tell me. Agri Tune, whatever Agri Tune is about. We must look up that Agri Tune. She's a nice tractor again. Front linkages, front mud guards, the whole lot. Um, next to that, we have a 375 Massey. Um, like I said, don't give out to me. I love these tractors. These are a lovely, lovely tractor. These are kind of the last of the. The basic Ferguson's. I got that with a per Perkins four cylinder engine in it. Massey and Perkins, of course, again go back years. They have a great history together. We're turning in the camera. This is the back of your T7 200. Um, again, nice tractor, nice straight tractor on the back. Um, she has the. We know what that is. She doesn't have the big valve for the for the um, the fusion baler at all, or for the baler, or is that it? No, that's not it. Got the big return that goes on them. The, the 375 is 88 Ross Common registered. Um, look at that nice clean back end in it again. Not painted, not anything, not rattled and bait. New around around your PTO. Um, new, um, what do we call them? Oh, I can't think of them, but come on, someone tell me what they are. Someone tell me what they are. They are. Oh, I can't think of it. The 5445 Massey. Lovely tractor again. She's a Dyna 4. Brand new tyres in the front of it. Tyres in the back are maybe 40%. She's a nice tractor. Nice garden on the front of it again. Um, the whole lot. She is... What year did we say she was? About 08, 09, 2010. 5445 Dyna 4. Again... Absolutely, she's open, so we'll give a look inside. Actually, we won't. We'll give it. We'll, we'll pick another one. Not 2010 CE. I wasn't too far off. Um, pick up pitch and all this. The whole lot linked arms. Um, next to that, we have a 06 C. What's this yoke? Oh, let me go around the front. She's a bit smaller. The loaders again. The loaders. The loaders. The loaders. She's a 54 55. With a lovely quickie loader, an absolutely handsome quickie loader on it. Um, again, ready for you if you want to take it and take it out the door. Front tires are maybe 90%, back tires are about 90% as well. These are lovely, kind of again, lovely, kind of just a basic, basic tractor. Joe does no, doesn't there is okay, there is electronics in them, but she's the straight, she's not the Dyna 4 or anything. They're just this is a farmer's tractor that would last forever. We have a 171 5612 Dyna 4 again. The Dyna tractor, of course, Ferguson and the Dyna and the Datatronics and all them, they were just a handsome tractor. I drove a 3655 for a while, drawn silence with a fellow there in Camp Thomas Minehill. And she was, oh my god, she was as slow as a wet week, but it was, there was some power. She was, the, she was, 
he had a he, there was she a diner shift as well but he also had um what is speed shift where she was just one button on the side of the dash someone can be telling me if i'm right or wrong on that what's this a 64 65 diner six again of course six cylinder the slightly big bigger version of what we were just looking at there a while ago again nice straight tractor nice straight tractor inside and out um that's one thing i have to say about this place there's no paint there's no nothing she's a 07 ce this is a big tractor like what she horsepower is she don't know she 165 they're thereabouts i presume i'm not exactly too well up on the horsepower um massey ferguson 4255 i was watching one of these the other night on youtube a fella from cork he was um hitch cutting and he had one of these he said it basically no no fault to the tractor but he had to get all new panels and mud guards and everything for it but he said it basically um more or less fell apart because of hedge cutting but it had hundreds and thousands of hours done hedge cutting and he actually done it up and he restored it she's zero zero ww he done it up restored it and she's still hedge cutting for him so just a fine tractor just a very basic tractor these are just basic tractor there that that tractor's there for you um next in the line we have a quickie what she's a quickie loader quickie 36 a 56 10 now i'm only guessing is this 110 horsepower um loader ready to go to gap and all for you just again brand new tires in the front of us i've climbed in and out across the fence about 400 times brand new tires in the front of it tires in the back are maybe 40 percent Actually, one of my videos there, there was some fella hammering me about tyres. He said if the tyres were anything less than 50%, he was going to demand the dealer would put new tyres on it for him. But if you can get any dealer to put new tyres on a tractor for you that are 50% or less, fair play to you, my man. Fair play to you. Absolutely fair play to you. Okay, guys, we're going to walk back the yard here. We have more stuff. What's that, lads? Brand new tethers. They are, I'd say. Brand new headers, brand new rakes or something. Don't even ask you what make they are. A Whelan's Garage, Kill Rush. That's the air code look, if you want to get them here. Whelan's Garage, Kill Rush. Not too sure the make is going to rain, lads. So we're going to keep moving. We have a couple of smaller second hand here. Massey Ferguson tethers. Again, I think Massey Ferguson were a welder. Am I right in saying that? Someone let me know. Um, what's this? These Massey Fergusons are not, they are Massey Fergusons, I presume. I'm not too sure. And we have a Rake Man 3000. Again, an ideal yoke. I see one of these, um, a fella had it, a, a neighbour, a neighbour farmer had it belonged to, uh, I, I see it. And what he actually had done was, when the boys came in drawing silage, um, he would come along and he would just do the ruts in the field he do them with that straight away after while they're fresh and um again made a f absolutely fantastic job a couple of tenko um are they bale silage shears bale shears whatever you want to call them um with a j jar mess kind of a harrow again same thing as the the rake went 3000 just a slightly older version a couple of brand new yokes here i don't know what they are lads come on somebody tell me we've a um flimming double bale handler a couple of flimming eight foot toppers flimming um rollers a couple of uh dribble bars major dribble bars there um we have a couple of cyclone uh, mulchers major again and we have a couple of mcconnell hitch cutters and we have a couple of um i can't think fertilizers for this Swing the camera around here, a couple of more major cyclone um, toppers, and or not toppers, mulchers. We have a very old um, hay turner, absolutely, might be there for someone. Maybe you're looking for parts off of that, it's a PZ. Maybe you are looking for parts off of it, a PZ, whatever. She's there for you, Whelan's and Kilrush. If you're looking for parts, look, a couple of more things. We have a chain harrow inside. With that brush there, lovely brush. I actually met a fellow about 10 years ago and he was trying his best to push them. And fellas didn't really like him, but they're 
they are there and they're there and they're there they've been have become a very large success um what have we here major agitator uh w-y-l-i w-y-l-i willy hard docks drive coupling all right okay she's a topper she's kind of a, a side mounted topper well she travels behind you but she's look they're there they're it's there's nothing to go wrong in it look all it is one gearbox two gearbox that's all it is and one hydraulic hose that's it basic machine that's fine bring it on brand new off the shelf we have a heap of buckets we have a heap of fertilizer spreaders small medium and large everything somebody there for everyone a r ranch ranch of spreaders um again bring it on more ranch spreaders the bigger types the big brother of the small ones um there's a garage below there. We'll go we'll look at the garage there in a minute. Lads, this video is going to be super long. We're up in 14 minutes already, and we've even half it done. Look at all the stuff down the yard. Major vacuum tanks, the whole lot. It's, it is here for you. Uh, more stuff. Fleming transport box. Fleming yard scrapers. Actually, I'm looking for an older yard scraper if anyone has one in the Kerry region. Um, you know, the H type. I, I have a plan for it just to scrape the stones around the yard. Just to take off the rubber um, off it and put on the put on take the rubber off it and just put on the what I call it, just put on it steel like a cutting edge. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do with it. Right, guys, we got to keep moving. We're up in 14 minutes. We don't want to make this too long, even though it's going to be long. We'll go into the shed there in a minute if it rains. Here's the Weller Man loader. Don't know a whole pile about him. Actually, don't know anything about him. Saw him advertising Dundee in a couple of more places. Um, but um, a fellow there, Joe Whelan, the man, I was talking to him. He said they are selling for him and they're selling very well. Um, farmers are buying them, I suppose. Look, it's, it's probably cheaper than buying um, a second-hand tractor. They're all joystick controlled, the whole lot. Um, don't like it, Ed Blue, but that's fine, they are what they are. And um, it's a simple operation for feeding cattle. Um, what are these guys? A couple of rakes, tethers. Moving back along, um, a fleet of second hand stuff here now in front of us, guys. This is the, the yard, uh, this is, you know, my yard is over right inside around there someplace. Um, NC agitators, do you want one? They're here for you. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six brand new NC agitators there. This fella's telling me they're waiting six or nine months for an NC or for, a, for an agitator. Look, come up here. They're here for you. Look at this. We have a couple of, are they Massey Ferguson guys? I don't know. Are they Ferguson, Ferguson tethers? They're here for you. TD776, is it S or a D? They're here for you. They are just sitting in the yard. There's one, two, three second-hand grass tethers here for you. Right? No bother. Go up and bring it on. They are just here. Collected wheelings of a truck down the yard. They will just deliver to you. Caneverland. We have a Caneverland um, rake, silage rake. Are you going rake and silage next year? There's one here for you on a pallet. Just come up and collect it. Um, Another one, another lily, kind of a hay turner. She's there. Okay, she needs maybe a bit of a tidy up, but she's there. And if she, and from what I can see in Whelan's, um, if she's there, she's clean. She's well worth working. Um, for uh, NS France Guard, never heard of a France Guard. Seen them, know exactly what it is. But a France Guard hay turner, she's there for you. If you want it, bring it on. That's the second one we saw. Hey, Tether, you going cutting hay in the spring? Now's the time to buy it. No, who, who knows? Maybe January you can get a discount. Um, what's she? Another Ferguson um, rake. Who's in the market for a Ferguson rake? If another telling me that there's such an order and they need to order them and they need to do this, Whelan's here in Kilrush, have them. Just come up, hitch up, and drive on. Okay, guys, we've got to stay moving. More Willies. Um, w Y L I E. Willie, keep your. Keep. Keep clear, river and row, okay. These are just uh, trailed toppers. I had a major trail topper. I went to Phil and Dingle. Alan Moriarty, how are you? If you're watching, um, there's another one over here for you. You can trade that one in and you can um, 
you can buy one of these ones here off of Whelan's. Um, don't know what they are. They look like Caneverland front moors. Uh, another Caneverland front moor here. Is it a front moor? It is a front moor. Ready to go. Now, lads, hopefully this is in Kerry at this stage. I would love this. My God. Ferguson trailer. I would put silage rails on this and away you go. It's their own trailer for around the yard for taking the, the stuff, the crap to the dump, whatever. Here we go. A major topper. Alan Moriarty, do you want to trade in your uh, major topper for one of these? Yeah, bring it on, lads. We're going to swing the camera. We're going to look at some second-hand tractors now in a second. We have uh, a 64, 64, 65 Massey. But before we look at them, look at this. Second-hand manure spreaders. Anyone in the market for a good second-hand manure spreader? We'll walk over there in a minute. We have a heap of second-hand loaders, brackets, the whole lot. It's all here. Um, Massey Ferguson weights, anyone? All right, come on. A 64, 65 Dyna 6 Massey. Of course, a big six-potter tractor. Tires are down right a bit in the front, but it's a nice tractor. About 50% in the back. They are a nice tractor. They're a good, again, straightforward tractor. Full set of weights in the front. The whole ass is just 08 CE, 08 clear. Okay, she could do a polish or maybe a rubber paint or whatever. But she is there for you. Um, next to that we have a lovely, these are a handsome tractor, but of course again look, they're a farmer's tractor, they're a nice tractor, maybe she's a tractor for a road run, something like that. The two of them, the dates included, the DX 3.90, whatever she is, like these are a lovely tractor, the John Deere with the loader, like, I don't know, what kind of money, I don't, I don't, not even going to guess in it, but I'm ta you're probably talking 17? Probably talking 17, 18,000 for that tractor. Look, there's brand new tires in the back of it. There's good tires in the front of it. it they are, they're making that kind of money. I know, don't hammer me, they're, it's stupid money, but there probably weren't even that money when it was new. But anyone out there ever buy a 2850 new, let me know in the comments what you, what you paid for it. And if you can, let's please everyone give this video a, a bit of a thumbs up. I want, it's just a bit of an experiment we're running. If I can get a thousand thumbs up on this video, we'll be sucking diesel. Zetter 9641. Um, again, a TR uh, track lift, track lift loader. Frontera 9641. Um, okay, she's faded, she's a bit pink. But nothing that a bit of polish wouldn't wouldn't cure. I see a fellow one night on on um, on YouTube, and he was going over the Zetter with a small little blowtorch, and it was getting all the white scum off of the paint. Now I'm not going to tell you do your tractor with um, a blowtorch, but hi, if it works, it works. Next to that we have a Massey Ferguson 550. The wheels in the front are a bit big. She's to, what are they? They're ten thousand sixteens, um, but look. This is a lovely little tractor. These are a near tractor for someone starting off. Um, maybe a tractor for a road run. Maybe a tractor for a small farmer. There was a neighbour of mine. He had one of these. He had it for years going to the shop. That's, that's what he had. That in a transport box. He had a transport box. And he had the sides closed in. That he was going to carry a few sheep in the transport box. But this is what he had for years going to the shop. I actually don't know what happened at the finish. Um, next to that we have a Massey Ferguson. Oh, this she? She's an RK662 TRC signage rake. What's she raking? Is she making 30 feet? She mightn't be raking the full 30, but she's doing a lot of it. Uh, next to that, we have a Coon 10 foot more. Is this joke for you? You're going to have your own silage next year. You want a cheap moor. There's two of them here, look. There's a Coon there. She's a Coon 10 foot, and I'd say we have a Tarrop 8 foot. Um, I know for the known score one time he had a lovely tarp eight foot moor and it was just it was a lovely lovely moor it just it done the job and of course Whelan's are also main agent in this part of the country for Fint Fint the Fint the Fint tractor I don't know a whole pile about him I actually know absolutely nothing about him so as I might say I know nothing about a lot of tractors but I know something about a lot of tractors but the Fint is they are I suppose, look, let's be honest, fellas are going to give out about them, but I suppose the Fint, to be honest, is probably the Rolls-Royce attractors. It's it's treated as the Rolls-Royce, whether it is or it isn't, I don't know, but it definitely is considered the Rolls-Royce of tractors. Look at that for a selection of stuff down the yard, lads. Um, come on, let's go in here to the shed. 
let's see what they have inside the brand new shed. Um, this is a serious setup inside here. Look at the line of quads, lads. We have a couple of second-hand quads tucked in there by the wall. All oh, quads, 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 quads. Look at that for a line-up with lawnmowers, the whole lot in the back. Swing the camera. We'll go down there in a minute, don't worry. Um, brand new, what are they? I don't know what they are. Um, look at this. Brand new boxes of quads again. Just fantastic. There's fellas telling me that you have to order all this stuff. I don't know why you're ordering it. It's here. It's here for you. Um, Ad code. And what that is, hubs. Look at these. They also put out the lime in the cubicles. Um, brand new Ferguson balers. Like I said, I think Ferguson's was Welger at one point. But I think now they're the Ferguson bottle Welger. Welger, what's she? She's uh, an extra cut. She's an RP235. Beautiful baler. I... Um, I, what you call it, i done a lot of bailing for Thomas Moynihan in camp, which I think it was a Welger RP200, or 220. Could have been a 220, actually. Um, what else have we here, lads? We have a Caneverland uh, mower, and we have, that's our Welger. Caneverland mower, look at that. It's beautiful. Caneverland tarp. Okay, I'm after learning now. The Caneverland bio tarp. Come on, somebody tell me, please. The Caneverland Bio Tarp. We have a lovely cool moor here. It's stuck inside the corner. You can't see a whole pile of it. Um, is there any number on it? There's no number on it that I can see, but I'd say she's a cool. I'd say she's an eight foot. Okay, duck her down. Back up. We have a Connor wrapper. Um, Connor again, of course. I think. Is Connor a clear company? I think they are. Connor's a clear company, as far as I know. Um, look at that. Another Welger. A second hand. Lily Welger. Did. Okay, did Ferguson buy Lily as well? Okay, don't know. A Lily Welger RP235 again, second-hand bailer. Don't know what year it is. Is there any plates in it? Not that I can see, but ring here. Ring and ask for Brendan. I was talking to Brendan at the gate. Brendan is a very knowledgeable man. He's below at the gate. Um, look at this for a lineup of tractors, lads. Oh, my God. Come on, this is just... Beautiful. That's all. That's all that is. Um, a lineup of five S one two fives, five S one one five, and a five S one three five. And of course, we have a couple of Tanko uh, wrappers. Now, I, I wrapped with something very similar to this. It was a uh, goal. And you know what? They were just they were just a lovely baler, offset to one side, and like you don't need that massive horsepower to drive them. I, I seen. I have a video there on YouTube. There's a fellow with uh, a Marshall tractor. I'd say she's 80 or 90 horsepower driving one of them. Now, okay, the land was flat and everything, but I think the biggest problem was probably pulling it if you had a, double, a second bale on it as well. Like, but look onto the the linkage arms, not on the hitch. The front one was on the hitch, but he told me the front one was sold. Um, I think he told me this one was actually going to carry. So maybe you might know where it is going. Um, if it is going to carry. Um, well, where to? Um, we have a big um, Ferguson RB313OF. Um, she's a big, we can't see it, it's inside the corner, but she's the combi pack. Um, again, nice bailer. Tidies up, all this tidies up. Um, now, some of them, okay, some fellas are going to say it's whatever, but these are just a nice, nice bailer. We have a very good second hand. A lily here again, Welger Lily. We're learning today, lads. Did did Ferguson buy out Lily and whatever? Um, we have an Agro Master 165. Again, small little handy topper. A small little handy yoke for a fella cutting a small bit of hay himself. Um, we're going to reverse out the gate door. Um, Massey Ferguson again. Look at that, lads. Fellas are telling me they're waiting for bailers. They're waiting for this. You ain't going to be waiting here. It's just drive on. The only thing you're waiting here you have, if you're coming from Kerry, you'll have to wait for the ferry. That's that. Massey Ferguson again. Brand new out the gap. What's this, York? She's um, another Welger RP235. Again, these are just a lovely, small, simple. They're not small. There's nothing small about them. You still need probably 130 horsepower to drive them. But, like, these are lovely, clean balers out the gap. Out the gap, lovely, perfect, on, on the ball. 
we have two Cleverland uh, moors. One of them is on the the boat on the linkage arms. One of them is you know the big moor you pull behind her ten foot. The other one is the lift. She's on the lift arms. The boat on the lift arms. But look, you know what I mean. The boat second hand. Both there for you. They're both here in Whelan and Clare. Um, what else do we have here, lads? Okay. I presume it's a tether. I'm not too sure. I'm kind of half bait, to be honest. Is she a tether? Somebody please tell me. I presume their, their gearbox is there. There's two of them, three of them back along. So that's six of them. So I presume she's some kind of a massive Ferguson hay tether. Again, just absolutely fantastic. Look at this. If you have a, if you have a brand new Kubota alarm, or fair play to you. But is that the way it came? A B2261. Another Kubota over there. And look at these yokes here, if we can back back a small bit. Um, this yoke, looking at it a while ago, didn't know what it was. But this is apparently a yoke for your, the back of your truck, small truck. Maybe you have a, 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 a whatever, a quarry, maybe you have whatever, and you want to go spreading a bit of salt. That's what these are. They fit into the back of, look, they possibly would fit into the back of your Toyota Dyna, and you load it up with salt, maybe not salt, maybe grit or whatever, and she's powered, she's, I think she's electric, see, told me, it's all electric motors, yeah, that's an electric motor there, and um, you power it up that way. Look at this, lads, lads, this is a fantastic lineup of kit. This is only a small bit of the stuff, like we're in a 30 minutes now at the moment, and this is only a small section of what they have. Like this is, the, the amount of stuff he has below inside in the yard is frightening. So I'm going to press pause and we're going to run down the yard. I said I had to look at the, the 550 again. And the Zetter. And the Dites. And the John Deere. And the Massey. Oh lads. Do you know what? I have a plan, but it doesn't include any of them. But I need everyone to give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Oh my god, I just spotted there's a fleet. Did I get the Lendini? I did, I got the Lendini. I got all that stuff. Look at this, guys. Second hand spreaders. I don't know if they're gone through or whether they're not gone through, but if you're in the market for a second hand spreader, a New Holland front weight, maybe New Holland back weight, whatever way you want to look at it, they're there for you. What's that? Is that linkage arms? I don't know. You can be telling it yourself. Look at this. A couple of ranch spreaders. Second-hand ranch spreaders there for you. Oh, she's an abbey inside. So they're there for you. It's starting to rain, lads. We gotta keep. We gotta keep her moving. We gotta keep it moving. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it, keep it going. Come on, turn camera. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn, turn. Look at this buckets. Absolutely nice buckets. Um, a couple of second-hand stuff. Look, a couple of second-hand. A major. Is she a major mulcher? Um, is that a class? To, uh, more, another more inside, and a couple of loaders. Okay, guys, we had a duck there. There was a desperate heavy shower of rain, but we're getting there. Um, okay, we saw them. We saw them. Look at this, guys. You in the market for a second hand topper, a second hand little york for cutting your own bit of hay. Look, they are here. They're all here. There's are you in the market for a second hand loader. Wow, we have a trimmer, we have a quickie, there's a Ferguson loader inside there, there's another quickie, there's a Ross Moore. Look at this, I have a man for that, well I don't have a man for that, I have a man, that's a quickie loader, but I'm looking for, you know the pointy bucket, you know the one with the pointy bucket, the trip loader? I have a man looking for a bucket off of one of them, if anybody knows of anyone. Look at this guys, are you in the market for a second hand shear grab? Are you in the market for a second hand agitator? Anything. Anything along those lines, Whelan's have it. Another second, look, more second-hand agitators. Um, one, two, three second-hand Canaveraland uh, mowers. Are you in the market for that? Look at this, a Canaveraland power harrow. Is she a 10-foot? I don't know if she's 10-foot or not. She probably is. She, someone can tell me. She's an NGS 301. Are you in the market for a second-hand Lily wrapper? Okay. Now's the time to buy it. Brand new chain harrow in the back. Um, what else is there? Brand new sprayers. Okay, we're going to turn the camera and we're going to... Look at that for a selection of stuff, lads. Oh my God, lads. There's... Oh, come on. 
Kramer, little Kramer loading shovel. Are you in the market for a pike? Oh, that's your man's pike. That's the pike he's looking for. She's the trip pike. She's not the back loader over there, I bet you. But he's looking for the bucket, you know, the bucket, the trip bucket with the pint. I, I have a fella, if you're in Kerry or there, thereabouts, I have a fella looking for one of them. Look at that. Another bucket, second hand shear grabs, lads. And are you in the market for a tanko second hand um, shear grab? What do you, is she Euro hit? She's not, is it? A Kramer 312 SL Kramer. A L L R Alrad, whatever that is. She's a nice little loader, lads. I wonder what he give it to me. I'll take it away. We'll take it on the ferry this evening and we're going. This is a nice loader, lads. Lads, I'm sorry, but it's about four o'clock in the evening. I came up here too late. If you're coming here to look around the yard, you need to come here nice and early. That's his truck over. They have a truck gone out delivering. They're washing it, full Arctic. Two more Caneverland, 10 foot over. Um, look at this, we have the wrench spreader. We have, I don't know what that is. That's called the shear grabs. There's an NC road sweeper. Brand new loaders. Another fleet of brand new tractors there. Look, another Willowman um, little um, loading shovel. Two major 1500 gallon tankers. Oh, well, she's 1500, she's 1700. Another Caneverland. Um, more out the back, and is she a Ferguson? Ferguson kind of a tether, she is a massive Ferguson tether. Lads, don't be telling me you can't get stuff. Don't be telling me you have to order stuff. Don't be telling me you have to wait three or four months to, to get stuff, but look, uh, a well amount, 1160. One, little side is grabbing in front of the lads. There's fellas out there buying big massive tractors. No need for them when you can have the likes of this. And this will do all the work you absolutely want. Now, we're going to give one quick walk through the store into the garage. Hold off with me, lads. Okay, guys, before we go into the store, there's a couple of more smaller size Wellamans here. Actually, do you know what? The big one above would be ideal, you can be a nice yoke for moving round bales or lifting round bales or loading round bales. We have two Caneverland 10 foot moors. I think one of them might be getting ready to go to the gap. We have a couple of tractors over as well, a couple of ranch spreaders and of course here look we have state of the art workshop everything inside, all the new masses, everything is gone through before it goes out, we're not going to go in, we're not going to be getting fellas on camera, they might not want to be on camera but look, everything goes is gone through, the brand new tractors are actually gone through before they go out the door, even the balers, everything, look brand new salter here for salt from the roads um, look all there for you lads. Alright guys, this is just to give you an idea of the parts. Look, everything. PTOs, new PTO shafts, new whatever you want to call them, little steel, oils, everything. I'm just gonna give a quick walk through the shop. Funnels, pressure gauges. Yeah, pressure gauge, yeah. No, we're fine. <laughs> Models. Do you want models? Jackets, clothing range, wheelings, full clothing range. It's all there for you. Okay guys, that's kind of it. You've seen it all. Um, look at this for a lineup of stuff. Absolutely fantastic lineup of tractors, machinery, the whole lot. You saw it all. The video is about 35 minutes long. So thanks to Joe and thanks to Brendan here at Wheelands. And uh, do you want anything? Give me a shout. I put a link in the comments below on um, on their website. How to get here? They have a massive selection of stuff, lads. It is all here for you. Don't tell me you have to pre-order an agitator, a pre-order a baler, a pre-order a hay turner, or even um, a Fleming power box. They're here for you. All right, guys. They also have a museum. I'm gonna go now and video the museum, and they also have another shed full of tractors. So we're gonna video that. So. Keep an eye out for them. They'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks, next couple of days. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Give a like, give a subscribe. And if everyone can, please give this video a thumbs up. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye now. All this, lads. Friday evening at 5.30. Whelan's in Kilrush, County Clare. All these tractors are here for you. There is literally hundreds 
well, not hundreds, I'm going to say hundreds, of Massey Ferguson, hundreds of pieces of equipment. Just everything here from major toppers to Massey Ferguson's to look. Do you want a fusion or not a fusion? To the McHale baler, I don't know what to call him, the McHale ordinary baler. Do you want a welder baler? Do you want a Massey Ferguson baler? Do you want a line of Massey Ferguson tractors? <laughs>